morning all you are here surprise guest Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. a visiting keeper in new york and she gonna make my favorite that i've been begging for black forest cake your girl you're not delayed with the cake so welcome to keeper's place <laughs> so this is color this is my sister all the way from florida and yes if you don't have an aprima cookbook some wrong with that because everybody's a trendadian I have an apron cook, but I give you the one. But anyway, we just threw that out to the bin. <laughs> yeah, so join me as I get prepped up, as I get washed up, and we'll be right back here. Alright, so we're baking up. Um, one of the first things we're gonna need is to cream some butter and sugar. So they ask for six ounces of butter. So we're gonna give them six ounces of butter. Alright, so. This is a four ounce uh, and half of this one. So that's six. Six ounces. And one and a half sugar. One and a half cups of sugar. So I got flour. I got treated dark, crispy chocolate. Okay, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And a half teaspoon of baking soda. I also need a teaspoon of coffee. Don't really need to measure this. And you're gonna need to strip your sides periodically. So that you can melt all the sugar. So one of the things that you need to do, if you don't have sour milk, is sour your milk. Lime, a couple drops, and leave you a cup of milk to sit so it can get sour. Mm -hmm. yep. I am going to add my eggs one at a time in there. It helps to break down the sugar faster. So you think blending might be a little while? Yeah, but you can hurry up the process by adding the eggs. My butter was nice and soft. I like some of that sugar and juice. And then egg a little crunchy, crunchy. Two. So this is me. I just needed um, the, the king to come up to because the king is actually in the recipe. So just a teaspoon. Go ahead. Pull off your nice butter mixture. And you don't need this anymore because now you're folding in everything. You're very mixed. Oops, I like I'm losing this. <clears throat> All right, we'll finish mixing inside of this. So you want to start with um, a third of this in here. And you want to fold. So you don't want to lose all the nice air. I mean, you can beat yours longer if you want. Um, I think the rising agent is going to add all that I need. So I start with the dry ingredients. And remember, all the dry ingredients is in one bowl. And then you want to add your sour milk, a third of it. Flour. All right, so you want to add 
dry to this and leave some dry for the end. All right. All right, so you want to put half in one and half in the other one. Guys, if you want to be precise, you can always weigh them out. Not me. And these cake, they're not getting sold. So I wing it. When I'm selling cakes, I definitely have to, have to weigh them out. Don't worry, it looks like a little bit, but it isn't. So normally you're cooking with me, but today you're baking with me. Alright, and now you want to, I like a smaller, there we go, because I like to spread them out, make sure they And I like to go for 40 minutes. All right, I like to go for 40 minutes in the oven. And then, then you can tell. All right, 40 minutes in the oven, then we come back. Oh, they are come to smell the cake. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so this has been sitting for a little while and what you want is when this leaves the side of the pan I like to leave it for about 15 minutes and you want to make sure that it comes out without issues uh -huh. so I'm back, my hands is well washed I do a lot of cake so I have one of these cake if you don't not a problem, you could take a knife and get the same job done. Alright. So this helps me to score and measure. So I want that to be nice and half. <laughs> and yeah, these things come fully equipped. And yeah, all I gotta do is slide that, slide that across. And boom. And this is as light as it gets, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing with the second one. There's a couple of ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need whipped cream. You're gonna need uh, pie filling, cherry pie filling. And you're gonna need hard Hershey's chocolate. I'm gonna grate this. I'm gonna put this on, whip it. And if you want it a little bit sweeter, you can add some icing sugar to your whipped cream to get it nice and sweet. But I'm probably gonna add, yeah, I like. Did that go? Hmm. By the time that was all done, this is already soft piece, guys. Look at that. Bing! Alright, so I got cherry pie filling. Oops. Why did I make a mess? I need my apron. I'm gonna use two because I want. I probably don't need all straight two. I probably need one and a half, but I know one can't do it all the way. So, and this is where the wine goes, or well, the vodka, whatever you have. I'm using white oak. 
Yeah, you know, keep it do doing do everything like everybody else. Alright, so you got here. If you got vodka, guys, whatever you have. Anyway, so these are your three ingredients. Chocolate, whipped cream, and cherry pie filling with a little vodka. Alright guys. So if you look over here on the stool, let's say you got four layers. So we gotta set this up really nice. I am going to put this in a piping bag. All right, so let's go. We got a base. And then we got cherry pie filling. Spread, spread, spread. It's not that hot, guys. Then you want another layer. You want cream. I like cherry rice. I like filling in every layer, to be honest. This is a big layer. And boom. You want that whipped cream everywhere, guys. So it really doesn't matter until you're ready to everything what you want everything kind of like a naked cake This is where the crumbs go right after you. Make some nice little rosettes on the top. You need that lovely chocolate to garnish with. All the sides and stuff, you know. I mean, it's debt. Debt. It's a lot of debt, guys. It's a lot of mess, too. Yeah. If you're making this cake all the time, you probably ain't gonna have that much cherries. So, that right there is your Black Forest cake. Put it in the fridge, let it chill, and then I'll. It's Black Forest coming in hot, and your girl is ready to taste. <laughs> Change my clothes and everything for this audio. Oh, looking good. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, guys, so you've seen it right here in Kiba's place. I did some little stuff that's different to the book. You can do it my way, you can try the book's way. But the recipe is basically the same. Go ahead, try this, see how you like it. Uh, give me a thumbs up, send me a message, hit me up. Join me next time right here in Kiba's Place. Bye guys.